ball, keep the ball alive here, and then Senior with a very, very nice dummy. And everybody in this huge crowd said, OK, I wonder how many tries six this season. But the pressure they were under, and then what, just a minute in their opponent's half, Peacock, like he has done so many times this season, has been the inspiration to get his team back into the game. Straight away from the base of the play, the ball, you saw Henderson get it through. This is sheer power, isn't it? A little bit lax there, Leeds, remember, I made the point. Leeds often score, Tony Smith get the message out, come on, we can't relax. But it all came about, what a wonderful jinking run from Yistin Harris. Watch them attack on that blind side, they normally do on the fourth. McKenna is screaming for the ball on that side, but no, they come out wide, and Jamie Jones Buchanan will get his seventh try of the season. The pressure mounted and mounted, and finally, the balls were bust. Sheer quality in just applying the pressure. Twisting, turning in the tackles. It was simple, really, wasn't it? They thought like I did, and they packed that blind side. But this is just too easy for words. And that will create huge problems for Brian Noble and the Bradford side. It was the manner that that fella, Jones Buchanan, has scored the try. But of Claret running away on Sinf uh, Fielden's uh, mouth or nose or head. By the way, it is dripping all over the joint. <laughs> Dr. Stevenson diagnosing the situation again. Well, it's a stitch job, I'm sure. Let's just hope they get the right bit then. <laughs> Bundle backwards in the tackle. I think he took the wrong option there. We had Carl Pratt on the outside. It's on the last now. Harris, little grubber kick. He's chasing it himself. Johnson is there. Has Paul Johnson got this ball down? Brilliant try. Yeah, just make sure he's on side. Just well, make sure was he on side? Well, that's what they'll check, but I can assure you the grounding is OK. Brilliant kick through. He's on side as far as I'm concerned. Yep. He's about half a metre. There he is on your left-hand side. The kicker, half a metre on the other side of that 20-metre line. And this will be TRY time. And it will silence this huge Leeds crowd. What a great take. Momentum takes him over. No way in the world is he stopped. That is a four-pointer. And the Bulls are back, showing Steve. a lot more adventure. Still, no, they scored the same try, a very exact same format in the last game against Witness. Do you know, in fact, in that game, they scored every one of the try when they were close to their opponent's line. Two from kicks and two from running plays. So they like to get near their opponent's line, and they're pretty good at converting it into points. Like you, I've no doubt this will be awarded as four. Is it Paul Johnson's second try of the season and his first for the club since March? It is. And again, the Bulls, having taken a hammering on the ropes, come back and close the gap again. And fair play to them. They have to dig deep. For long periods, Leeds had them on their own goal line. Harris, neat little dink through. Looked as though it was Harris that was going to go for his own kick. But Johnson, so alert. Very alert indeed. Could see there was no one at home. Mathers was just out of position slightly. The Bradford Bulls, they try to get Chev Walker into touch there. Paul Johnson with the tackle. Calderwood allowed to come straight across the field. Calderwood again. Maguire is under the post. Well, that is a controversial call from referee Ashley Klein giving the Rhinos another set of six. And one or two questions from the Bulls players there, but that try stands. And Danny Maguire, seventh Super League try of the season. It was great finish by Maguire, but it all came about from Lautiti getting the ball through, and then nothing wrong with it. They played in it, the foot went to it. But the work from Mark Calderwood from dummy half, look at the defence, look at the acres of space. OK, Peacock put a big hit on Sinfield, but throw the dummy, there's no one at home. This is where it all counts. Boom! See how they were sucked into Sinfield. Harris, not the best attempt. Should have crushed him. 
Failed to do it, and Maguire in for the TRY. They have this wonderful ability of the Leeds Rhinos. Just before half-time, they can just lift that extra little bit, Paul. That could be the killer blow against the Bradford Bulls. Release with that penalty. I think Andy Lynch did an injustice to the Bradford Bulls' efforts. Hang on a minute, Paul, because Danny Ward is on the charge. He's got support from Danny Maguire. The Danny boys combined. And Maguire gets his second of the game. And that pressure released. And the Bulls pay for it. No wonder Brian Noble had his head in his hands. And Maguire celebrating. Well, do you know, there was ten minutes of pressure, wasn't there? I suppose that's what Brian Noble extracted from his side at half-time. And he got probably the best they could have, but fundamentally the core skills let them down. The catching and passing came up with mistakes. And then eventually you knew an opportunity was going to come for the Rhinos. They can strike from anywhere on the field. Any single player of the ball, there's an opportunity that they can score. And it's a nice little dummy there from Danny Ward. He's through the gap, and then he stays calm, he stays composed, and he offloads it to the man, probably the best supporting player in Super League at present. They'll do that to you, they're a quality outfit. But Brian Noble, the Bulls coach, realises that silly play by Andy Lynch gave it away the penalty for the flop when the tackle had already been completed. They should have applied the pressure, they couldn't and then they missed the tackle and this guy as ever over the past three seasons Maguire he really has come on a bundle tackle by Ian Henderson there's a trio of Henderson's playing over here at the moment uh, Andy at Castleford brother Kevin just signed by Wakefield Trinity Wildcats great offload by Chris McKenna across the field comes Robbie Burrow Danny Ward and Ward goes it. without it Goal and opportunity there. The referee, I think, is going to go to the screen, is he? Well, he has. He, he feels, loose. He feels as though it was uh, Danny Ward thinks that it's actually been reefed away. If that's the case, then this could be an unusual try. Neat little offload, wasn't it? No, it was reefed down, so that's play on. Ben Harris, it was. It think, was is, it? It's play on. Deliberately going for the ball. It's that ben is Harris in yeah, with the challenge there. That's play on. No one is in front. Lauer Titi is behind. Withers makes a right mess of it. What was I saying about a great pair of hands? And who comes up? But has he been held back? Now then, as Lauer Titi pulled him back. That's what they look for here. Definitely reefed out. Play on. That's play on. That went backwards. He's pulled him back. He has. This will be a penalty to Bradford and wonderful relief. Tuneman pouncing on that ball, but I don't think he's going to get credit for that. Well, they can't give this, surely. Quite clear that number 11, Lauer Titi, has pulled the back, full back, back. No try. Oh, he's on form tonight. <laughs> I'm sure Brian Noble, their coach, also feels that they know that Leeds have got that quality to score full-length tries, and that's why Bradford have to score now. Harris, wide to Ben Harris, and Harris, the other Harris, that is, gets over the line. Has he got the ball down to the referee's satisfaction? He has, well, that was classic Bradford Bulls power play. Harris drifting the ball wide, and then linking up with his namesake, Ben Harris. And the Bradford Bulls just won't go away. That's a reward for the kick into the corner, and it was a good one. Don't often see Leeds caught out like this so easily. And it was all brought about the skills of Justin Harris. This was a kick into the corner, definitely came off Calderwood's leg. They get the possession, but watch the confusion that Justin Harris does to the Leeds defence. Is he going to go on his own? Are we taking? We'll, we'll hang back and find out. You found out a bit too late, and it's cost you four points. Well, it could be six if Paul Deacon can kick this one and this could... But he was actually going to go for the ball, it wasn't. He was just making sure that his winger, Marcus Pai, could take a clean catch. McDermott with the offload. Ellis bumps off the tackle from Ben Harris. Here goes Kevin Sinfield. Sinfield has the man inside. Who is one of the world's best centres, Keith Senior, who gets his second try of the night. His 90th Super League try of the season. And Leeds 
with surgical precision, just cutting through the ball's defence there. Well, this could have been a penalty. Watch Senior. Senior makes no attempt to go for the football. I mentioned the fact he went off the ground, and from here, the offload, as he's done for so many times. McDermott and Ellis, but look at the dummy here. This is quality. Ian Henderson, I'm afraid, was uh, just running out of steam. Couldn't get to Sinfield and great support play. But this is what it's all about. Rugby League football at his best. Dragging the defence in, two offloads, having the power. Smooth and cool. It's a well-oiled machine and it's working very, very well. Well, the feeling is mutual. Jamie Langley, I beg his pardon. That's a great defensive set from the Leeds Rhinos. Bradford having to kick the ball from the 25 metre. Oh, Richie Mather goes through a slip, and this time Calderwood. Oh, he had senior. Should have offered that. Crying out for a hat trick. And he took it himself. It could still be senior's chance. Sinfield takes the tackle. The balls really are on the ropes now. Here is Mathers once more. McDermott. Dummy from Barry. Well, McDermott's on a roll. Almost uh, heading for a personal best in try scoring terms this season. Barry well, McDermott. Fielding and McDermott, they were having a little bit of a headbutting. Latiti. That was a formality. Gets another try, and he does float like a butterfly, this guy. Certainly does, they He's put... got hands like a butterfly's wings. Well, they're large, I'm not so sure I've seen many large butterfly wings, but it doesn't matter. You know, this guy was brought to Leeds to create tries, and he has this wonderful ability to ensure that it can score them, but put it down to an absolutely beautiful little offload from Rob Barrow. This is the little butting competition. Friendly, of course. But what about the pass? Absolutely superb. Steve, oh, the long pass in Rugby League is the glamorous one that the fans love to see, but the short one is always more dangerous. It's a simpler one, it's more effective, and if you can find the man in the hole in the right timing, it usually comes up with a good result. Realistically, Bill, now Bradford are in a three-way race with Hull and Paul Cullen's Warrington side now, and it's all about third, fourth and fifth, I feel, for those three teams. Who'll finish where? Well, I'm sure Paul Cullen would like to think as Brad Myers comes up with that ball. Paul Cullen would like to think it'll be Warrington in third place, and Myers gets the try. The sixth for the club, the former Brisbane Bronco. Well, it's a high enough ball. Gave them all the time in the world to get underneath it. And they got there in numbers, and that's important. Deacon put plenty of height on this. Not the best from Richard Mathers, take nothing away from this fella. That's a good take, you can see that Richard Mathers had taken off a little bit too early. It's mine, it's four, surely it'll turn into six. Well, they certainly got back there in numbers. He really has given a captain's performance as Jamie Peacock in defeat. Both the captains have been outstanding tonight. His opposite number, Kevin Sinfield. Johnson now. McKenna is hearing back. McKenna tries to get the tackle in. Johnson is going to go all the way. That is a great what? try. Second try on his return for Paul Johnson. And the balls at least are ending on a positive note. Second come. They don't come much better than that. William, that was absolutely superb. They're testing their arm, they know that the seconds are ticking away. But look at this, look at the gap there. Couldn't fill in. McKenna was supposed to. He knew he had the legs. That is a wonderful effort. Sit back, forget about your cup of tea, and enjoy this. Looking, looking, anyone around, not the best attempt. 
fully deserved. Deacon. Another success. It's 36-26, just, just 10 points in it, but time is running out for the ball. Well, he knew he couldn't get a fingertip to it, just poked it with his toe. That's the third tackle. A bit of the sting in the tail here. Peacock flips the ball out, Robbie Paul loses it. Oh, they're going to get punished here. No, a tap on the ankle by Ben Harris. The choir is brought down. Oh, this is silly play from Marcus Bay. It's, uh... I know they had a shot at Maguire. Well, well, they're sorting that out. And Stuart Fielding looking daggers at the opposition. And it's still going on. The referee's stopped the clock, has he? No. And Ashley Klein just having uh, one or two words. Pretty fierce faces there, and Justin Harris is not happy because uh, Danny McGuire lifted the ball carrying arm, the elbow went straight into the face of. Well, Justin Harris on his return to Leeds, where he holds records for goals in a match and points in a match. It's always a case, Bill. There's you no know, end of the night in the sin bin. The